Good morning everyone, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. Got a very rugbunctious German Shepherd today. So today is a sparkling day in Central Oregon. And uh, I actually got a day off from videos. <clears throat> and uh, so uh, yeah, it's uh, very comfortable out here. And of course, every morning we got to uh, check our water systems. And uh, today, uh, Jay Lynn's heading back to Washington State. So uh, we're gonna be sending her home with a lot of eggs and zucchinis and tomatoes and eggs and all those good stuff. And uh, she was very helpful um, helping us process stuff and uh, you know, celebrating our anniversary we had fun at the casino. Uh, didn't get wiped out or nothing. <laughs> it was just a really good day. And uh, so, uh, yeah, garden's looking pretty. Uh, still a little hazy out, but I gotta check water systems. Well, we definitely have uh, some uh, tomatoes to harvest today. Uh, just got done filling the tank. For the Dutch buckets and yes my floating rafts are still pretty empty we're working on that uh, I had to fill the water on the swamp cooler and uh, finally I had to fill one of the tanks on the NFTs and uh, the strawberries uh, tanks is good for one more day and uh, yeah so uh, my tomato potatoes I need to hand water and then uh, pretty much kind of done with the chores today. We've got a whole bunch of things to do in town today. So we got to uh, pick up some stuff for pickling. We got to pick up a car part that we ordered for the Mazda. Um, and uh, oh gosh, we got tons of stuff. And I can't, this is why we write this stuff down because uh, we get going on so many things we'll easily forget. So we start writing lists down. But uh, yeah, we gotta go all the way to Bend, which is about 40 miles. So we uh, get some driving to do. But uh, not until we get our chores done. And then once Jalen hits the road, I've gotta turn off some systems on the RV um, and uh, turn off the gas, turn off the heating system and drain the tanks. And uh, yeah, and it'll be all set up forward for next month. So it's definitely been really nice to have Jalen here. Helped with uh, all the gardens. And what I wanted to show you today is uh, yesterday we didn't film, but I we did do a lot of gardening. Uh, one of the things I brought in a couple of buckets a load of uh, uh, beauty bark for here. We got this all cleared out. We're ready to spread all that. And then uh, what we call Berry Island is once we get this uh, weeded one more time, um, we're gonna beauty bark that. I'm gonna try to do that this week. And then I'll show you some other things that uh, we did. So uh, with the tractor, we took about four loads of branches and stuff out to the back, four, back five. And we got this all cleared out. And uh, now we just gotta pretty it up. Cleared out a lot of bushes and stuff. Uh, back here so that's now all opened up and then uh, we also cleared out all this area and uh, this area too and uh, so it looks great probably not easy to tell with the camera but it's a little bit more open uh, allows us to see more of the property from the house and uh, Sherry did a little bit of cleaning the angel hair out of the pond last yesterday. And uh, just a lot of miscellaneous. Got this a little bit more cleared out. So uh, yeah, we worked hard yesterday. And uh, let's go take a look at the sunflowers over here. So uh, <laughs> you got the old droopy look that you get with these flowers. And uh, they're there right there. Apparently you can eat those. Uh, you can just take the whole head off, roast it, and uh, 
eat it before the seeds developed. And uh, actually, I hear they're pretty good. Got a couple more up here. All here, they're all opening up. I think all of our sunflowers are now open. And uh, they're pretty. You gotta like, sunflowers are something happy about a sunflower. One thing you can definitely, would be nice is, I can certainly see why a lot of places have ranch hands. <laughs> Having the extra help really allows Sherry and I to go after the detailed things. And uh, yeah, boy, it just looks so much different here. So uh, once again, we're very grateful to uh, Jay Lynn helping us out. She uh, quite enthusiastic and uh, she just dives right in. We call her the destructor. She comes in with a the, the cutting apparatus to get these trees out and trimmed out and she just rips it all out and then what we do is come behind and then detail it out and make it uh, presentable and ready for flowers and stuff next year. So yeah, it was a great partnership. And she'll be back here next month. She tries to come up or we'll come down here at least uh, uh, once a month if everything works out great. Her other sister may be here next month uh, she's a little bit more frail, but she wants to come down. They all come down here also to see their mother, uh, the other siblings, and so that works out pretty good. And so, uh, at the same time, they help us out here in the homestead. So, there you go. Boy, it's hard to believe that we also have in the back of our minds that fall's coming. Uh, hey, by the way, you want some Swiss chard? <laughs> Like, we're still processing from a day ago. Um, but yeah, we got lots of Swiss chard. I think our neighbor, we uh, had her try it and she said she liked it. So hopefully we can send her home a little Swiss chard. We got a lot. And uh, next year, I mean, this has been our learning curve for a couple of things. We're, we'll still do peppers and stuff. We did really good on peppers. But when we do our green beans next year outside, they're gonna be done in Dutch buckets. So we're gonna have a beautiful Dutch bucket system outdoors uh, that can handle the roots. And uh, so yeah, that'll, this part will change. We'll keep the, the trellis there. But, uh, and this NFT is really great in the spring for all the lettuce if we wanna do large quantities of lettuce. But once it gets hot, uh, then we have to kind of taper it off a little bit because it does get really warm and since I use black pipe but this has been really good for Swiss chard really good for spinach uh, until it gets too hot but right here the very first plant uh, that's that new uh, uh, t uh, spinach you can grow year-round and uh, uh, unfortunately I didn't plant enough of it but we want to do a taste test before we go too crazy with it so uh, yeah, and then the new broccolis, these came off the, uh, uh, the floating raft. So whenever I move something from a floating raft to regular dirt, it really freaks out for the first four or five days and then it bounces back. So these are already, they look kind of droopy and everything, but they are coming back. So uh, hopefully I'll have broccoli for the fall. One other thing, uh, I just got a new pump to use on the uh, towers here. This is uh, 850 gallons per hour. And uh, I feel like I'm having a little trouble reaching the very end. So I, I bought a 1150 um, uh, gallons per hour um, system and I'll be putting that in this week. Very simple. And uh, hopefully I'll get a little bit more water pressure towards the end. Uh, to make sure that those last two uh, towers get lots of nutrients. Well guys, we've been gone all day. Got some Costco shopping done. We actually got something to help us separate seeds from tomatoes a little bit. But most of all, I wanna show you the thing I've been waiting for, finally got, and I think it's pretty important. So you guys know we have a generator backup for uh, our water systems here on the property. and. Also, we could power up our freezers if we had to. But I also needed 
a smaller generator. So at Costco, I finally picked one up, about a 2000. Um, and it's uh, uh, priced at, let's see, $449. Um, what I want this for, this generator is for my pellet stove. So on the side of my house over here, I can set it right outside and run an extension cord to the pellet stove in order for us to heat the house in case our power goes out in the winter. And uh, plus it'll come in handy for projects like when we decide to build a greenhouse. And uh, it'd be nice to just take the little generator out there for power tools. So I'm pretty excited about this. Tomorrow we'll take, uh, I'll do more of an unboxing and uh, then I can add oil to it, fire it up, make sure everything's okay because it's got a three year warranty. So uh, pretty excited about that. So it's uh, starting at 2000 watts and it runs at a 1600, more than enough to run my pellet stove. And uh, so yeah, pretty happy about that. The other final success is we actually got a hold of some canning lids at Fred Meyers which is uh, amazing because we've been looking for them forever. Not that it's held us up on anything, but we uh, definitely wanted to have some on, on hand so we could reuse some of our jars. And uh, <coughs> so yeah, we got a lot of things for canning today and we're pretty happy about that. So anyway, this has been a very full day, a long day shopping because where we live, the goal to band is uh, 40 miles from here. Uh, so we hit a lot of stores. And uh, we're tired. So it uh, seems only right to uh, get dinner all finished up, kick back, put on our jammies and watch season 11 of Walking Dead. <laughs> yes, we finally got it. So uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up. Uh, hope everybody had a great day. Thank you very much wa for watching. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world and sharing is caring. We'd really appreciate it. So guys, talk to you later. Bye. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.